This set of slides deals with evaluating oral presentations in the context of a final year engineering subject. This work is focused on assessing as a mechanism that can contribute to develop competences, as we will see in the next slides. Assessment may be performed by professors or by students. Students may assess themselves, self-assessment, or their peers, peer-to-peer -peer assessment. Both mechanisms allow to develop different competences, such as critical thinking and third-party evaluation of projects. In the context of a PBL deployed in a final year engineering subject, Checking the validity of the student's assessments has been done in order to implement this kind of assessment the next academic year. Some elements to consider when analyzing the theoretical framework. To assess may be just to set a grade, in fact, quantifying a work, or besides quantifying, using the assessment activity as a learning tool in order to learn knowledge and to develop competences. The first option is known as a summative assessment, while the second option is known as a formative assessment. As said in the previous slides, professors and students may assess. Researchers have identified an effect, the Krager-Dunning effect, that may explain biases when someone has some deficits because of not being completely competent in an area. This slide shows some pros and cons of peer-to-peer -peer assessment. Some of the advantages are receiving feedback from peers, being able to develop interpersonal strategies, time saver for teachers, or developing competences. Some of the drawbacks that has been identified are the potential uncomfortable situation for some students or the validity of the assessments. In the context of a final year engineering subject, some changes were introduced in terms of the way of assessing. In previous years, the subject was exclusively assessed by one professor. Once the subject has been changed, the assessment of the final project has been performed by two skilled professors and by students. Students have done that assessment just as a class activity. The goal of this experiment is to check the validity of the assessment performed by students, to include both options, self-assessment and peer-to-peer -peer assessment, as an effective assessing mechanism to be implemented next year in order to develop competences in the context of the formative assessment. Students were asked to evaluate themselves and their pairs as a class activity the last day of class. All the enrolled participants in the subject participate in the activity, and the results are shown in this slide. Peer-to-peer -peer assessment was performed through an overall evaluation of the project and also by grading different features as shown in the next slide. In this slide, the different elements assessed by peers are displayed, showing the different weights of each one of the items. The percentage that are shown here were not given to the students. This slide shows a comparison of the different grades, professors, self-assessment, peer-to-peer, -peer, considering overall assessment, and P2P, -P, applying the different weights displayed in the previous slides. Once analyzed the data, some results may be highlighted. First, self-assessment and peer-to-peer -peer assessment result in higher qualification when compared with the grades given by teacher. Second element is this one. The lower the evaluation given by the teacher, the greater the gap of evaluation with the value given by the student. This fact could be explained by the kruger dunning effect. Finally, some conclusions are shown in this final slide with the goal of introducing an effective student's assessment next year in order to develop critical thinking and third-party evaluation of projects. Two elements are going to be implemented. The first one is a specific training in assessment, while the second one is the introduction of an extrinsic motivation mechanism in the sense that the closer the results of self and peer-to-peer -peer assessment to the grades given by professors, the greater the impact on the final grade of the student.